and I are finally taking some time away, and so I thought it would be fun to show you my packing process with a minimalist mindset. We're really excited to be going to one of our good friend's weddings, and we are vaccinated and we're taking all the precautions we can, but I'm just so thrilled that we have this opportunity to share this moment with a few of our friends and to be able to celebrate. So I do want to speak just a little bit to my approach to packing. I'm trying to find this balance, and I've talked about this before on my channel, of trying to pursue minimalism, trying to keep it so that my stuff doesn't kind of rule my life, but also keeping it sort of reasonable for me and in accordance to my preferences and how I enjoy going through the process of traveling. This is not an extreme minimalism video. If you're looking for that, this is not the video because I'm really trying to find a balance of being able to pack maybe a little bit less than I would normally and packing the things that I'll really use, things that are likely usable in multiple different situations, while also still packing enough that maybe I have a couple of options and I can take on different kind of situations depending on what happens because a lot of this weekend isn't fully planned and I don't know even the exact events that are gonna happen. So I wanna be prepared for a lot of different situations and I wanna have some options while also really focusing on not getting so much that I have to lug around huge bags with me and have that burden all the time. I historically used to be that person who would always pack like a massive duffel for any trip. So even though for maybe some of you, this might just be a normal amount for packing, for me, it is somewhat minimized, but I really believe that I'm gonna be using all the items that I bring with me and I feel good about sort of the balance that I've created for myself. So with that in mind, the fact that I'm not claiming to be extreme with this, but that I'm just trying to pack in a more minimized way than I would normally, let's get into this. So first what I have here are my pants or my bottoms. I have a pair of leggings, which I think are just great for travel. If you're gonna do something more active or if you wanna lounge and be comfortable, there are many different scenarios I could use these. I also have a pair of lounge pants that can also function as pajama pants. And I even sometimes wear these out and about. So they're just kind of like a catch-all type of loose black pant. And I think this is a really great example of an item that can function many different purposes while I travel. And then finally, one pair of jeans. So then for t-shirts, I am going away for a long weekend for four days. And so I want to make sure I do have enough different options since I'm not sure I'll have the option to wash anything. And I do like having a fresh t-shirt when possible. I'm all about repeating wears and not overwashing things, but sometimes I notice when I travel, I almost like sweat more, if that makes sense. So I do like having some backup options. So I have three t-shirts here, one white, one black, one gray. And then I'm also wearing the t-shirt that I'm gonna be wearing while I'm traveling. So I have four total as just kind of different options depending on what I wanna wear, how hot it is, and how much I've sweated out the previous t-shirts. Then I've got my pajamas and um, kind of lounge wear. So I've got a t-shirt for sleeping and shorts for sleeping, but I can also use those lounge pants if it gets colder. And then I always like to have sort of like a lounge sweatshirt um, that I can wear when I'm at the hotel or Airbnb, but that I can also wear out and about if I need to or to bed at night. So that's again multi-purpose. And then I am bringing three dresses which I've really planned out and tried to minimize as much as possible. I have one dress for just casual wear, hanging out, um, kind of being in the moment with friends or with Andy. One dress that's planned for the rehearsal dinner and one dress for the wedding. Now maybe three dresses for a long weekend feels like a lot, but I do think it's gonna be kind of hot and I also have specific dresses planned for those events. And then there might be some other events that I don't know about, like a brunch or another situation where maybe I have to look a little bit more put together. You know, I think that's kind of a compromise. I could go as far as to only bring one dress for the entire weekend, but realistically, I'd like to wear something different for the rehearsal dinner and the wedding. But then I also want a slightly more casual option for the daytime or for doing other things. I will also be bringing one belt that I can use either with my jeans or with my dresses. And then I always bring my handy eye cover for sleeping. 
I am now kind of reliant on these. I mean, I can sleep without them, but I just love the way they allow me to sleep longer. <laughs> I've noticed that as I get older, it's harder and harder to sleep in. And so I definitely think that this is really handy if you have trouble sleeping in, especially because of the light. Uh, next I have my shoes. Now I am gonna be wearing kind of comfy sandals that I can wear on longer walks or light hikes, as well as just kind of casually. But then I'm bringing two fancy pairs of sandals. And that might seem excessive to you, um, considering I could just have one fancy pair of sandals for events. But what I've noticed is I'm not good with heels. Now, first of all, I did try to find the most comfortable heels I could. That's really important to me, comfort over almost everything else. But I also have the tendency to get blisters really easily. Like I just have very sensitive skin. And if I wear heels one night, it might be hard for me to wear the exact same pair the next day because of the blisters. So I figured out the trick, first of all, to wear preemptive band-aids, all about that. But I also tend to bring two pairs of heels to a weekend of events like this. And that way, if I wear one pair, say for the rehearsal dinner, if I have horrible blisters, I might still be able to wear heels the next day because different shoes will rub my feet a little bit differently. So I'm planning to bring this pair of heels that are still pretty low and very, very comfy, as well as this pair. Then I've also got, this is my pouch of jewelry. I have like several different options here. I have my Nordgreen watch, gold hoops. I have a few kind of other like stray pieces of jewelry just to give myself options, but this really is like actually most of my jewelry overall. But I like to just keep it compact, easy to pack, and it all just goes in this one spot. And I've had this little bag for so many years, I don't even know how long. Then I'll have my toiletries. This includes like all my makeup, everything I need, and um, this really is all the makeup I own. And yeah, so that's already packed kind of because it's always kind of in there. Uh, plus any extra additional little like travel toiletries I might need. And then I have this pouch, which actually recently Hamilton Perkins sent to me. I really like their company because I just like the aesthetics of their design. And the company also uses recycled materials to make their bags. Um, if you're interested, I'll have the link below, but I just kind of like the simple design of it. And they also have other kind of bigger travel bags, which is cool if you're interested. Um, but anyway, I'll keep a pouch like this, I think, to just keep things organized and I will put in, in this case, I'm putting like little pieces of gear and stuff in case I want to film anything while I'm there. Um, this is actually kind of like a handy little, if you're interested, you just turn it on and it functions as a stabilizer, um, which is pretty cool. It just follows your direction so you can easily record photos or video that are smooth. I don't use this for most of my videos, but especially when I travel, it's kind of handy. So I'll have that along with any other little bits of gear I wanna bring along just to keep it all confined in one space. And that's everything I'm packing. So I may make some minor changes still um, as I finalize things, but that's the current plan. Okay, now I just gotta put it in a bag. Okay, so actually that was super fast and I'll show you what it looks like. Also, I forgot to mention I'm planning on wearing some kind of sweater or jacket. I think probably this one so that I do have another option for staying warm than just the sweatshirt. And I also will probably pack my curling iron, which I think is downstairs right now. So um, I'll get that on my way out. And I also didn't show I'm going to pack my underwear as well, obviously, but I just felt weird showing that on YouTube. So I didn't. But this is the gist of it. I'll give you a little bit of a closer look. So this is basically what I'm packing. So this is what it looks like. I've got my belt in here. I will put my underwear in here. I've got my jewelry, my eye covering, 
my two pairs of shoes that I'm packing, all the clothes underneath, and my toiletries in there. So there you have it. Let's see if this will zip shut. There you go. So that's all I've got for you. Very simple, straightforward video today. Hopefully it made you think about how you can pack with intention in your style and in the way that works for you. It doesn't have to be super, super extreme in order to feel good about it. I mean, this is for like four days and I probably have more than I really absolutely need, but I do think I'll end up using everything, so I feel good about that. If you ended up liking this video, please hit the like button below. It really helps the video get out to more people. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe below. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.